Um, no, so it is a topic that, thank you. I think that was Darnell, thank you. Um, it's a topic that Kristen and I are both super passionate about. And yeah, mom, like seriously, 100%, right? Mother's Day is over. And now it's time to go back to being a mom. Hence why we need all the compacts and all the gummies and all the things because being a mom requires a lot of that. So totally get it. Um, but we, we've been doing a lot of social media training and social media is amazing. But as we've all experienced, there's times where social media can go down and there's times where, you know, you have your winning seasons on it. You have your not, but being super consistent as we've seen in the chats, like with what just happened with Jennifer, Jennifer Parker, which is why we definitely want her to chat. You, you, it can go viral. You never know when your moment's going to come. So that's why social media is so important, why we train on it so much, because you have to make sure you're staying consistent with it. You have to be in your stories every day. Thank you, Trisha. I am starting to feel more myself again. You guys know I've been struggling a little bit. I've been on the struggle bus the past few months, but I'm getting back to myself. And that's why I'm like super passionate. And I wanted to come on and share with you guys tonight, because even through everything, I don't know if you've seen, but I still showed up in my stories. I wasn't going live as much and I haven't been as active in the chats, but I'm still showing up on social media. That is just the number one thing and so important with social, but we're not going to really focus as much on social. We're going to talk a little bit more about networking and building offline. So it is a huge topic. That was weird. Someone's not going to see my cat. Oh, <laughs> hi. Um, I'm seeing, let me switch to gallery. Hi. There we go. I like gallery view a little bit better. I'm like staring at, I, I don't know why there was a black screen on. I'm like, I don't want to just look at a black screen the entire time. Like I need to see faces because a black screen does nothing for me. <laughs> like I need to see your pretty smiley faces. So this is, I trained out with this on my team. Um, I don't know that I can because I don't have admin access, but Darnell, can you mute everybody? I trained on this with our team last week and it is something that I, like I said, I am super passionate about. I know Kristen is really big on it too. Um, especially when I go through these like mental stages where sometimes I just have to unplug and I, I still need to run my business because we cannot stop running our businesses, but we compare, I get in these like comparison traps sometimes on social media and I'm like, okay, well, how, how can I win? You know how I can win? I can go out and I can talk to people every single day. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about building your business and networking offline. So I'm going to share a few things that I do. Kristen, I know has a few tips and things that she does. And then Jenny is going to talk a little bit too. And I think she's going to talk a little bit of also about consistency and different things like that and what she did and the super, super exciting thing that she had happened to her, which can happen to any of us. Um, so uh, what ways do you guys network? What ways can we network, right? Like how can we network offline? Social media is so easy because you can put on this front. You don't have to talk to people, right? You talk to people, but you really talk to yourself talking to people. So it's not as scary sometimes even though we all totally overthink it, it's a lot easier, right? To just post in your stories or make a post or do something like that and then walk away from it. Where when you network in person, it takes a little bit more. It does, I'm not gonna lie. Something that is huge that we all need to do right now is just let go. Like number one right now, can I tell you guys something that held me back from networking in person and held me back with this company in the very beginning. And I don't know if you guys know this, even though I've had viral videos, when I don't have viral videos, I still stay on leaderboards because of my local network, because I've built a local network, because I've talked to people. I am 50% in person, 50% online. I was 70%, 75% in person, 25% online before I started being consistent with reels. So I had to get out of my head and say, who cares what anybody thinks? These products have changed my life. I know that every single mom that goes to my daughter's school is stressed out AF is running to 14 different games, is doing all of these things, is not taking care of their mental or physical health, and that they need Ariel. And I know that so many of them are stay-at-home moms that would love a little bit of extra income to be able to do little things for themselves, like play tennis or this or that or different things. So I just started talking to people. You guys know I'm, a, I'm involved with a ton of networking groups. I'm huge on those. I'm a strong believer in getting in networking groups. There's so many ways that you can do it, but that's not really what I'm talking about because Sometimes those groups can cost money or things like that. Sometimes they don't. You can look on Facebook and you can say small business networking groups in Broward County and it'll pop up and you can find them. And there's like, oh, thank you, Annabelle. There's little places that you can like, literally there's like meetups everywhere. I'm not kidding. So write that down. I want everyone to do that. That is homework. Go on Facebook. We're all on social media and write down and say, 
networking groups in my area, whatever your city is, okay? And you can find them. But beyond networking groups, you guys, every time you step out of your door, you are a product of the product. You are networking. Every time you walk outside, you take your unicorn drops with you. You take your gummies. You know how you use them on social media? You do the exact same thing wherever you go. When I go to my daughter's softball game, I have my cup. I have my unicorn drops in front of everybody. I'm putting my unicorn drops in my water so that I can start conversations. Do you know what else I do is happy hour parties? Yes, 100%. I bring an unopened one with me. Do you guys know how many products I've sold by bringing an unopened product with me of whatever product I'm using? So I started doing that recently and I have sold more products that way, which is crazy. Like the cream, like my knee has been killing me. Right. So I bring my baked tape with me. I sold one on the cruise. You guys, you remember that I was talking to those of you who were on the cruise. I was at the bar ordering a drink and I had my tape on this guy was like, Oh, my shoulder's really hurting. I had it in my bag. I sold him my tape. Like I'm not joking. You just be a product of the product everywhere you go. Use your products everywhere you go. You don't realize every situation is a chance to network. What did Darnell say? Hold on. I, ah, I just stopped my video. I <laughs> the chat. I stopped my video. Uh, let me see. What did you say in the chat? I think happy hour parties would be amazing. You sold unicorn drops today because you put one in your husband's and plays water bottle. How do they come? See, exactly. You just have to use them in front of people. I tell people all the time, like I will take GTFO with me if we're having like a wine night. And I'll be like, all right, who wants my anti hangover here? Like little, like random things like that. Like everywhere you go, you can use the products. You can talk about the products. Again, I'm huge on networking groups. I'm a part of a ton of them. Um, I also, there are other free ways. So I'm, I joined a gym because of cryotherapy. If you see me post about it, well, you know what I did? I asked the gym, I said, can I set my products up? And I've started doing it. I'm setting up again on Wednesday because once a month they do these huge events. The last time I set up at the gym, I did $1,200 in three hours in sales. Like it is so easy. And do you know how many leads I got too? Now I, I, I'm not the best on plugging people in, but I do add them. Like I have an email list. So I'll automatically add them back in, but I need to get them then plugged in on social media to 100%. But you can create all of these leads and do these events and things for free. I'm going to tell you guys, vendor events are great, but a lot of times they cost a lot of money and you might not even reach the right network. If you are already going out to places like the gym or you're at your kid's softball game or you're doing these things, those are free opportunities to network with people. Absolutely free opportunities. Put your tape on before you go to the gym. Put your tape on your kid who's playing a sport, you guys. Like there's so many opportunities to network for free. And it is literally just being a product of the product. I know we're tired. I know we're exhausted every single morning. And sometimes we forget, stick the freaking unicorn drops in your purse, put one in your purse and one on your kitchen counter. Okay. So you always have them with you. It's little things like that. I always carry like a little pad so that I can like take notes or write people's things down and I can keep track of it. It's just being a product of the product everywhere you go. And you don't have to spend money to do it. I think so many people are afraid of it because they don't want to spend the money. So those are easy ways, you guys, that I've been doing it just to not even spend money. I am a believer, like I said, in networking groups, but you should just ask, just ask, ask your gym, ask your mom's group. If you can like set the products up, ask the school, like you never know, just ask, ask if you can bring your products. And then everywhere you go, use your products, talk to your friends about the products. If your friend is saying, I've been having really bad headaches. Well, say, have you seen, you've seen me talk about these, like um, the, the gummies that I'm taking, right? Like you should totally try them. I'll give you a sample. Give them a sample, like do it, be a good friend. Like that's being a good friend. Let's be real. Like that's being a good friend, not talking about the products and not sharing them is being a bad friend. I'm just saying, turn out the crap, turn out the face real. It is, but it is, it's being a bad friend. If I wouldn't have given Darnell Comcaps as a sample, she wouldn't be here right now. I was being a good friend. And I stepped outside of my comfort zone to do that in the beginning, okay? That's how we're going to bring people into this company and build locally. You can build locally. I found my number one rock star right now, who's the number one here. Holly is on here also. Guess what? Holly, local. Who else is local from my team? Holly Kelly. Kelly Branham. Kelly is local. My team majority is local. Martine is from LuLaRoe. I brought her over. But majority of my team is local. They're not 
people that I found online. A few are, but majority are local. So you think you can only build on social media, but that's not true. You can build locally. You just have to open your mouth and share the products. My husband is standing over here in a tank top and his firefighter gear. Okay. And I took a libido gummy yeah. earlier. Just saying. Um, anyways. All right. So I'm going to pass the cup over to Kristen and end with that. I'm literally blushing and sweating. I'm, just, I'm not even joking. Like my armpits are sweating right now. Hey, I mean, that, that might be another viral video right there. If you let you just, just get a little picture, you know? <laughs> I can't even. There's a whole new network right so there. You want some of this? <laughs> And of course I go to talk and my kids barge in the room. But anyways, I love what you were saying because um, I actually, all my notes, it's a lot of very similar stuff. Um, I call it the everywhere you go approach because literally everywhere I go, I'm talking to people. And I will say I was not always that kind of person. I was pretty shy. Um, so for, you know, the, the limiting belief of that's just not me. Amanda can talk to everybody. Darling can talk to everybody. Kristen can talk to everybody. Well, just so you know, Kristen didn't always talk to everybody. I was afraid to call and order pizza on the phone, you guys, because I didn't want to talk to the person on the other side of the line to order pizza. Like, I was afraid to go ask more ketchup at McDonald's. Like, I hated talk. I never wanted to be a server because I'm like, no, people are going to get mad at me. I'm going to do it wrong. I, I, I'm afraid of, like, like, I'm a people pleaser. So if I don't do it right, give me a minute. Go look for daddy out the window. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um, so anyways, everywhere you go, um, it takes practice, but once you start talking, you'll realize, okay, people aren't bad and people need what we have. And I, I say, it's hard to be nervous when your mind's on service, because if you have the intentions of, I want to help this person, how can I help this mom? Like you see me, right? Like these kids, I love them, but my husband's been gone all week. He's working long hours this week. Cause we're going to be gone next week. So like, I'm stressed out. They're driving me freaking nuts. And I'm thankful for the pink gaps. Right. Um, so I know there's other moms like that too. And I always say friend first business second, because to me, I want to be your friend and I want you to know it's, you know, I'm social too, but especially in person, like I, I'm here to have mom friends. Like I'm here for the support system. I want you to know, like we're in this together. Um, and so I build that relationship first and foremost, unless they're really like struggling. Like my friend, Emily, I'm like, Ooh, Emily, you need some unicorn drops. And she's like, what's that? I'm like, let me just put them in your cup right now, you know, and having them on hand. Right. Um, that's, that's key too. And if you can even make like maybe little samples of gummies, I know we're not supposed to do this. I'm, we're not, if you don't sell them, maybe you just have a couple in a baggie or whatever, one in a baggie, like bring some go flex with you out and about. So you might be able to hand them to a friend. And if it's a friend, they're going to trust you giving them a sample of a gummy. Um, so everywhere you go, just, just open your ears, open your eyes and open your ears. Look for people who are struggling and listen for people who are struggling. You can see people limping down the road. You can hear people complaining that their back hurts, right? And, and it's gotten, it's taken me a minute to get to the point where if I hear people complaining, like, oh my God, my ankle hurts. I'm like, I hate to overhear, but I have to tell you about something because my dad has arthritis and his ankles have been hurting him for decades. And he finally found a cream that helps him with his pain. Like I got to share it with you because if you're anything like my dad in pain, like I don't want you to suffer like he did. Like it to me, my mind's on service. I'm not nervous to talk to them because I know I can potentially help them not have pain. Right. And so, um, you know, having cards on hand is great, but if if you don't, that's okay. Like give them your phone number on a sticky note or a piece of paper, ask for their number, text them on the spot. Like, you, let me text you right now. I'll send you the information about it and send them your link, right? Right on the spot. Um, having a popple is nice because they can pu pull it right up. You don't have to buy all these things, but it's nice to have some of those tools because people have asked me like, oh, what's that unicorn thing? What's that popple in your phone? Like, what is that? Or what's the aerial sticker on the phone? You know, they ask about that. Um, so Another thing I was going to say too, because Amanda covered a lot, but I have some other stuff. Um, think about your groups that you're a part of. Think about your community and like be really intentional with meeting them in person, but then adding them on social. So a lot of mine starts in person, but the follow-up comes through social media. And so I'm adding them as friends. I'm in my mom's, or well, I guess it's a whole school 
Facebook page. I run it now, but I'm friend requesting every single parent that goes through that school. Like we're going to be friends. And then I can share with you what I got to offer to help you. Right. Or you're going to see me post about it. Um, soccer teams, add them all as friends, cheer moms, add them all as friends. Um, and it can just start as like, let's do play dates. Let's do happy hours. Let's hang out. Right. And then it can develop into sharing more because the product's going to come up. The business is going to come up. So add them to your social media networks. Um, have a sticker on your car. If you can, I know it's kind of old school, but I literally had a lady call me last week. Like, I hope I'm talking to the right person. I'm like, I don't know. She's like, I saw a short man come out of the car, but it had your name. And it was an Ariel sticker and I didn't have a phone number. So I had to look it up. And then I called corporate and I asked corporate who is in the, the DFW area. And they gave me your number. And I was really confused because a man came out of the car, but I think we're, I think it's you. And we start talking. Her name's Shannon. She's Mary Kay. She hosts Vendor Events in Dallas. She wants me to come out, all this stuff. And I mean, that took some balls for her to like try and find me. And I'm like, way to go, Shannon. Like you're a go-getter. I'm going to need you on my team. Okay. Yeah. You're hosting Vendor Events, but I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you know about Ariel. So, um, that all came from a sticker on my car. Um, you know, just, just look for opportunities in your area. It is, what mental health awareness month, like there's probably gyms doing something about that. My hot works gym. I've been there three times now, and now I'm building relationships with people at the gym. And those are my people because they're going to like nutritional products. Right. Um, I saw Lynn say in the chat that sh we did this once, uh, not too long ago talking about this and the girl took action and she was able to host a table at her gym. And she, I think she's doing it regularly now. Um, so just going out that, that comfort zone, you, and if you're afraid to talk to people, maybe find a friend to do it with you in your area, partner up, like do it together. Like me and Brittany do stuff all the time because it's just fun to have someone in your area. If you don't, that's okay. Um, you know, like just bring a friend to be like, Hey, can you just help me just stand here and talk to me? So I'm like, not so nervous talking to my friends and maybe that person will realize, Oh, Ariel is actually pretty easy to talk about. Like maybe I should do this too right? It's summertime coming up. There's going to be tons of the vendor events coming up. Don't spend too much, but there's some that are like 20, 25 bucks. You just never know who you're going to meet. Um, I, my food truck, I'm not saying go buy a $40,000 food truck. Don't do that because I'm about to sell mine, but it is an ice lead magnet. It's kind of like having a vendor table and it brings people to the truck and people get to try things. Um, and I, that's how I met the lady who runs like one of the biggest coffee shops around us. And now she wants to wholesale and partner and take our products and put it in her coffee shop in our local area that is in San Antonio. Right. So like, you just never know who knows who, who knows who, who knows who that needs what we have and has a network and connections. Um, talk to people on the airplane. I don't want to keep us. All I want to add, I know I want to add really, really quick. Sure. If you're doing vendor events, like Kristen was saying, wear your merch. Okay. Wear your merch. If you're setting up at a gym, if you're doing anything, gummy gang, Ariel, all of those that will start a conversation right then and there. Okay. My fairy hair in my hair started a conversation because they said the rainbow. And I was like, Oh, because I work for this amazing unicorn company. Your colors, our colors, our brand will start conversations too. So if you're afraid that you don't know how to start a conversation, rep the brand. Yep, absolutely. Um, airplanes, my last thing. That's where I met one of my girls who ended up being a um, 20K leader previously. I sat next to her on the airplane. You ain't, you ain't got nowhere to go. And you're here for an hour and a half. We're going to talk, okay? Um, wear your merch in the airport because people will look at you and be like, gummy gang, what's that about, you know? Um, okay, I'm going to pass over to, to Jennifer. She's going to share with us um, about being genuine and how that has helped her recently. The girl like had a very catchy video um, go viral. And I, I'm just going to pass it over to you, girl, and let you, before I share everything. <laughs> Um, hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jenny Parker, and I am an Emerald leader here in the Gummy Gang, in case you guys don't know me. If you do know me, what's up, y'all? That means you're probably on my blitzes, and I just want to give you guys a shout out. Um, in case you don't know, by the way, I'm just going to drop this here. Blitzes are where you get the little teeny tiny tidbits from all of us um, leaders here that we try to teach you how to work your business like daily and like this, the little tasks that you can do. And in case you guys don't know, the little tasks are big. Okay, <laughs> like that's just how I'm gonna start this off is that the little tasks are actually they're really big task. Um, something if you're in this company long enough that you'll hear Kristen and Travis say is that um, you'll never be a better friend than Kristen. 
um, than Kristen Butler because she is, she's just, apparently she's just amazing, right? So, um, and she really does care. If you go to her house, I had the privilege of going to their house and standing there and she stood there and had a conversation with me about my feet during pregnancy. Like she was ticking in her head different things that she was going to do for women who may have had like swelling issues with their feet and the fact that their feet spread. Like she was deeply invested and like it was only a two minute conversation that we had, but like I could just tell. So she genuinely cares. And like, that's something that I want to pass along to you guys, because it's something that I think I've said over and over again, is that like, I genuinely care. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually used to have a rock star with me and she was local. Um, so you've heard these beautiful women come on here talking about locals. I totally agree with that. Okay. Locals is where you can go because you can build connection. Um, people are wanting connection. That's just the point of it. We just went through two years worth of a pandemic where nobody knew what the freak was going on. Okay. And everybody went like a little bonkers and um, they didn't know who to trust. Like the government was like doing crazy stuff. And then like people were pitted against each other over vaccines. And then we went through, you know, Black Lives Matter and we've gone through all this LGBTQ TQ stuff. And like the world is just really freaking crazy. And I think that people just genuinely enjoy a laugh. People genuinely enjoy knowing that they share your same day-to-day -day struggles, the day-to-day -day struggles of the kid that won't stop saying mom over your shoulder 20 times in a row. And you're like, what, what is it? <laughs> you know, um, I don't know about the rest of your lives, obviously, but I'm sure that each one of you share something, whether you're a plant mama, dog mama, uh, mama, mama, like of young children, you know, or growing children. It doesn't matter if you're not a mom, if you're just just somebody floating along on the rock going around the sun, right? Like you have something in common with probably at least a million people on this planet. And I guarantee you half of that million are on TikTok. So that being said, I will at least, I'm going to, I'm going to go a few more things and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to throw a, I'm going to throw a wrench into the equation. I don't know that Darylin's going to like it, but <laughs> um, on the airplane, Speaking of airplane, I met a lady named Karen. Let me tell you about the cruise. By the way, we go through awesome incentives here. Okay. So we actually just got off a cruise back in um, February. Was it February? No, it was April. Gosh, the years. <laughs> And um, it felt like years because, oh my gosh, getting there was crazy. There was like shutdowns and I had to reroute my flight. And when I rerouted my flight, I actually ended up next to this very nice lady named Karen and talked to her and realized that she also had to do the same sort of thing about rerouting. And um, I just went to lunch with her this week. So I totally agree with airplanes and meeting people. I found Karen online. I talked to her. I also found the other lady who was sitting on the other side of Karen online. Um, and so all of us are now friends. Friends. And thankfully, though, the one lady, Karen, comes with me and she she lives in uh, Elizabeth City, which is just south of here. And so she comes up and frequently. Anyways, so I totally agree. Talk to everybody. I'm also on the PTA. I love it when the PTA people find me. <laughs> and I get like the people you may know pops up and it's somebody from the school. And I'm like, oh, yep. Yeah. Well, now they know. <laughs> It's quite funny because apparently there's rumor that people you may know means that they've checked you out before. So um, that's another thing that I personally do that I, I get out there a little bit more in the community with. And um, there's definitely people in my neighborhood that shop with me now. They might not want everybody to know it, but they know who I am and they know where to find me and they know I have Delta 8. So I definitely agree with the fact that um, your local community cannot be underestimated. But that being said, what I was going to say, if I'm going to throw in for a loop, is I don't know if I agree all the time with niching down. And I will tell you why. Because I don't believe I have a niche per se. My niche is I want to educate you. I want to educate you on cannabis. I want to educate you on our products and what they can possibly do for you. Um, but I agree with pillars, definitely. I think that if you don't know exactly what your niche is yet, I would definitely suggest that you come up with some pillars. Um, my pillars are kids, kindness, cannabis, and coffee. 
I love it. It has all the K's, but those are things that I talk about. Those are things that you will find are trends throughout my pictures. There are trends throughout my videos. There, there are trends that I either have like a coffee cup or something like that. I have, you know what I mean? I'm talking about those things in general. So people know to come with me to that. Um, I also used to do things like taco night and I would put taco night in my stories. Every taco night, I did it for like two months. And then people would be sending me memes of like taco night. Like people I didn't even know paid attention to me would like send me memes of taco nights, right? I was just I'm glad it's four Ks. I know. Sorry. But it's actually two C's and two K's. That just sounds like K's. But um anyways, but that's what worked for me personally is that I feel I was very just authentic in my delivery of things. I was to the point that I've been here for two years, you guys. Okay. So I don't want to sound like I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell you exactly how to be, and it's going to work for you. I'm talking, this has been almost two years in the making of me also going through some very big soul searching for myself. I didn't have a big, um, weight loss transformation, but I definitely think that if you knew me two years ago, you can vouch that I've had a, a huge mental health transformation. And like, just saying that makes me want to cry because these products have helped me come so far. Um, they definitely helped me quit alcohol. Um, they helped me just realize that I went through some really kind of traumatic things in my childhood that I couldn't see because I couldn't stop my thoughts long enough. And now that I've digested those things and I've come to the other side of them, like the light has shined so bright that like, that's what happened to me. So go on this journey with people and take them on your journey with you because what's happening to me right now is that like people are finding me and they're looking at shit from like years ago and they are writing me messages and they're like, oh my God, you are such a bright light. And it's so hard to find people that are genuine online. Like, you know, and I actually have, I was on the phone with a girl. Um, she joined the team. I don't even know if she's here. I told her that this call was going on, but um, I, anyways, I found her on TikTok due to this viral video and she reached out to me and I swear, I hope that these products help her so much. I just have so much faith that they will because I sent her like seven minutes worth of voice clips. Okay. So by the way, that short voice clip thing, if you're a long-winded person, find your long-winded people, girl, you go, <laughs> you send the three minute voice clip if you need to. But anyways, um, so I talked and let's <laughs> see, there she is. She is on here. I can't see everybody's name on the screen, but hey, Megan, thanks for hopping on girl. That's so awesome. But I just think that like, and you know, I lost Amanda, my girl, Amanda, who left during convention because of all sorts of crazy stuff we're not going to get into now, but that's all about being authentic too. I posted about that journey. I actually told Megan a little bit about it, I believe, you know, um, and it's just, it's really nice though, whenever you don't have to hide anywhere. It's nice whenever you can just do whatever it is that comes to your mind. Um, you know, whatever it is that resonates with you. If you don't listen to rap, then don't use rap songs in your videos, right? Because you're not gonna attract the right people. I mean, I don't mean it like that, but you know what I mean? If you're a country person, show some country in your videos. If you're somebody who likes jazz, listen to some jazz. Like, it's cool. You can make it you and you can make this fun. And if you learn how to enjoy the journey and you take people on that journey, who knows? You might post a reply video to one of us who is trying to bump your stuff. Like I replied to Kristen and hit 450,000 or whatever views that's at now. But um, it has been very nice and I am super thankful for it. But more thankful than I am, my content has generated me leads that I like, they haven't purchased yet, but like I'm talking to all of them because I want them to know that the products that we have here, the cannabis products that we have here, the CBD, y'all, if you don't know how powerful CBD is, I encourage you to go Google the endocannabinoid system. Just look up CBD, look up CBG and how beneficial it is and what the entourage effect is. Know a little bit about what you're selling at least, and then you're gonna wanna learn more because these products are magical. And you just got to find the right ones. There's 60 of them or so. Just find the one that works for you um, and share about it. And that's all I got. So, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I love that. You know, it's about being genuine offline and online, like being the same person that you are if you were at your mom's group or your kid's soccer game or whatever, like being that same person all around because 
and maybe not everyone's going to like you and that's okay. I had to learn that. Like not everyone's going to like me, you know? And it was kind of, I want everyone to like me. Like, I just want to be likable, but I'm realizing I don't need everybody to like me. And those people are going to find me in real life or on social media. Um, I had a video go viral in the last two days, 3 million people watched it. It's a lot of hate, not going to lie. There's a lot of people that are not very nice because it was, it was a story about my kid in the bathtub and the VIX vapor rub. It's, I thought it was funny. I already knew it was going to cause controversy. And I honestly didn't care because I kind of needed to stand out a little bit and I needed something to like turn heads. Not saying I said it on purpose, but I addressed it on purpose, I guess. Um, but through that, I'm finding my people I'm finding those parents that are like, you know, like we do the best we freaking can. It's not always going to be perfect, but shit's hard sometimes, you know? And so those are the people that I think I've connected with online that I would genuinely be friends with in person too. And so, um, you know, I guess I don't even know where we're going with all this, but, um, I guess all that to say you can build online and offline. That's the point. Like we wanted to talk about, like, you don't have to just build online. You can build offline. You can build online, How, whatever works for you. Um, just try it out in all different ways. Try be consistent with those videos online, be consistent with stepping outside your comfort zone and your social network in your local area and, and be okay to be branded as the gummy girl. Be okay to be branded as I'm like the unicorn girl in my area. They're like, Oh, you like the unicorns. I mean, because they're on my food truck and it's everything's got like emojis on my Facebook page for Rouge and stuff too with unicorns because I just want to know we're the unicorn company and that's who I am. The last company I was branded with that company, you know, and that's okay. It's not, it's not like a, a bad thing. So um, I feel like once you start branding yourself, people will refer you, they're going to send people your way and it's going to be easier to find leads. I don't know easier is the word, maybe simpler because people will advocate for you and um, you can create advocates in, in person and online too. So I don't know if you girls had any final thoughts. We can um, end this because we do have corporate training in just a little bit. I know uh, Daryl is hosting and it's always going to be good. So anything else you have, Amanda or Jennifer? No, I think that was perfect. I mean, that really nailed it on the spot. It's just be authentic and be you the same way that you would show up in person or on social media, show up in person. Like I, I'm telling you, when you try to be somebody else, it's not going to work. Just be you and don't freaking care what anybody else thinks. You will lose friends, but you will gain the right friends and the right people and the right connections will come. So just stay consistent in person and I mean, in person and online, the same things we teach online go in person. It really does. It's just being consistent in life and genuine in life. There's days when you can't show up online. So show up in person. Always I show actually up. did have something else I wanted to add to. I, wrote, yeah. I did write it down. I totally breezed right over it. But you guys, we all have got to get over not like being the first to reach out. Like there are so many people that when it comes to friendships, they're like, well, I reached out to her and she didn't get back with me. So I'm not coming back again. Right. And like we get this like attitude. We kind of like somehow keep tallies on people of like I reached out twice and she hasn't got back with me. So either that means she doesn't want to talk to me or whatever. Like, no, people have stuff going on. People have kids. People have dogs that are crazy. People get halfway through messages and squirrel out and don't send them. Um, so get over being, right? That's me all day long. I'm like, get over being the first person to actually reach back out to people, especially your prospects, if their bubbles move. Because like, that's also building a relationship of trust. You're not just like, hey, I'm copying and pasting and sending a script to you. Um, I'm actually coming back around and being like, Hey, did you get a chance to look over that stuff that we talked about the other day? Or I'll straight up tell people in like my messages, I'll say, if I'm bothering you, please let me know. But I also know that life gets crazy and I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. Like I straight up will tell people like, I know I'm coming back a couple of times, but if you're here for this, let me know if you're not, it's okay. After a certain amount of time, I'll back off. You can sprinkle in commenting on their photos and hearting their text blocks and that sort of thing. But like really the follow-up is built in messenger and um and your relationship is really built there a big bit too and don't always go for a sale 
comment on it, learn their like, learn their life a little bit, learn what their dog's name is, learn what their kids' names are, ask if, you know, check out their page for a second before you go after people that you haven't heard for a minute and make sure they're not dealing with like a death in the family or, you know, I mean, maybe they just had a baby and you're like, Hey, are you ready to try those, you know, pink pills we talked about six months ago? Um, no, they just had a baby, but um, so yeah, that's, that was a little bit of the other thing was don't be afraid to reach out first, but like also at the same time, do a little investigating whenever you do as well. There it is. I love it. Okay. So share it with us all the good things that happen, talking to people outside your comfort zone in person, going outside your comfort zone, doing a vendor event, whatever it is that you took away from this and you make action with share with us because we want to celebrate those wins with you and cheer you on through just your journey. But we'll see you guys in about 20 minutes on the corporate training and have a great night. Bye everybody.